Floss Tube. It's Sarah, our Stitching Kingdom. Um, welcome. It is February 11th, Monday, 2019. Um, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I meant to film on Saturday. It just got a little hectic. So, um, and if you hear snow plows or anything that goes by, we got some good snow last night and busy road, or, you know, I'm kind of on a main road, old house, thin windows lots of fun. So that's why I'm bundled up a lot of the time because <laughs> it's cold at our house. I love it, but it's cold. Um, I just want to say a quick hello. Thank you to the new subscribers. We're at 100. I'm at 216 ish now, which is super awesome. I'm so excited. Um, just remember on my floss tube 14, the previous one, I am doing a giveaway for my 200 subscribers, super exciting. Um, I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but let's get into the stitching. Um, so like a lot of people, magical stitches rules my life, as Michelle Bendy says. So <laughs> it's crazy, it's fun, I love it. It is helping me to work on a lot of projects, a lot of different projects that I've wanted to touch this year and ones that I haven't, ones that I've kind of gotten focused to finish on. So Vicki and Kate, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this group. It's amazing. Um, so started with, let's see here. I know we talked about detention. So, um, or yeah, a whip that was being was in prison. I don't know, did we? Maybe not. Anyway, um, since since February started on Friday, I don't think we talked about it. So we'll talk about it. On Friday started February, so the new um, the new book that we're reading is Chamber of Secrets. That's year two, and. Um, started reading that. I got it on audiobook, so I listen to it in the car while I'm waiting for the kids to um, get out of school and while I'm driving there. It's only about a 15, not even a 15 minute drive, but still love the dulcet tones of Mr. Jim Dale. He is my favorite. Um, there is a Christmas Carol out there that is an audiobook that he reads and it's fantastic. It was actually one of the first ones, first audiobooks I ever heard him read. And then here comes Harry Potter and just fell in love even more with him. Um, so we got in trouble for using magic in front of muggles. So we got in, tr so, um, and then plus the flying car. And so we had a whip that was, you know, in trouble in prison, something like that. And so what I decided to work on, we had to do 300 stitches and I pulled out my oldest cause I really didn't have, a, a whip that was in jail. Um, so, sorry, just trying to fix something on my camera here. Oh my God. I have this lovely red blinking light that gets in the way. Oh, maybe that'll fix it. But as you can see, I'm not going to take it out of the hoop because I'm going to work on it again. I finished all the borders. They match up. So happy. Matching borders. And then it goes up to that's the top that I haven't finished yet. So and then I also use this for some of my extra credit as well. Um, I'll just talk about that now. Um, we had to, so I did 300 stitches on this, which was awesome. Um, I also stitched on, on Saturday, we watched Chamber of Secrets because for extra credit, you could watch the movie and you just take a picture of the before and a picture of the after and you have to have the movie, you know, the movie in there. And it's really funny because it's hard to get a decent the end on the Harry Potter movies because if you've noticed, I don't know if you have, but there is not uh, the end until the eighth movie. Similar to what they did with Lord of the Rings, there's not a the end until the last installment of Return of the King, especially if you're watching the extended edition. So um, I love it. It's the coolest thing. So we got that finished. Um, I also did, we had to have um, 
other extra credit that I worked on on Saturday. Let's see. We had to work on something that made us moan and cry. And as much as I love this one, it does kind of make me moan and cry. And so I worked on The Eagle by Sue Coleman. This is the bottom of the page right here. And this is the side of the page. And then I've got a little bit over here. So we're definitely gonna work on this a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, this eagle part up here is all done. This is part of a totem. I'm off by like an extra stitch over here, but it's the right number here and the right number. So in between is the right number. I'm just not sure what happened. I think they were it not in between here is the right number, but in between here's the right number. I think I just went one over, but it looks fine. It'll be okay. Cause this is like the bottom part of there's a symbol and it comes over this way. Oops. There you can't see and the symbol. The totem comes like this way, or I can't remember which way it goes, but worked on that, got about 400 stitches done on this guy on Saturday after I watched, um, and then Sunday I worked more on the Stargate and then I also started, um, the flock of sheep or flock of pins by Shepherd's Bush. I have it for a smalls exchange, so. started that one for the um, the animag animagus extra credit because you know it might be useful to be a sheep you could chill out in the field listen for dark wizards it's pretty cool so I worked I'll bring this out a little bit later too and then did more on the eagle so I got 500 stitches done on that one on Sunday between Saturday and Sunday and then um, also had to stitch on something that flies, so we got about 600 stitches in this guy. So, and we'll be working on him more, because he is pretty, but <sighs> gotta love the full coverage. And this one, I should have probably started it in the corner instead of in the middle, but it's my first kind of full, bigger piece like that. Um, so, something that flies, oh yes, because, so... Monday started Polyjuice Potion because we needed to figure out who the heir of Slytherin was. And so for Polyjuice Potion, you need Lacewing Flies. So we had to stitch on something that flies. Um, something that sticks or sucks for the leeches. And um, I'll come up with that one. And then the third one is a um, rare ingredient because Hermione pretty much had to steal the powdered bicorn horn. So we had to stitch on something rare or something like out of print or something that you can't readily get. So, and then number four is not grass. So we had to stitch on grass. Number five is fluxweed that was picked at midnight. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups here. So fluxweed picked at midnight. So we had to pick on, stitch on something with a night scene or on dark fabric. And then number six, we had to do boom slang skin. So we had to stitch on something with skin. And then number seven, you needed a bit of whoever that you were turning into. And which for this one is you needed to stitch on something that was, you were enabled to stitch on. So something, um, whether it be something that enabled you. So we'll go from there. Um, Tuesday, I, I stitched on, oh, Stargate. I was stitching on the Stargate. <laughs> Excuse me. And so the Stargate, I also worked on this for my Secret Passages to Hogsmeade, which I got my thousand stitches in for that. So there's another top, of, there's another border that goes up this way, or another couple borders go up this way, another one up this way, and there's another chevron. So this pattern repeats on the top, so I just have to do that. It says there's no place like this is the symbol for home for earth and so we had to stitch on something that sucked and this doesn't suck but it when you enter in the wormhole through the event horizon you are sucked into another galaxy depending on which if you're going to pegasus or destiny or um to another planet 
so you are sucked through the wormhole. So that's how I justified that one. I love this because all you have to do is kind of justify it and it, it makes sense, if, which is kind of cool. So I worked on that, finished that one. Um, I also worked on this, and we had to go in order. So the eagle was first, and then I did the stargate. And, that's, and so that's what I did on Sunday. And then, um, oh wait, no. I worked on the eagle, on, or the eagle on Saturday after stitching. And then, huh, I know where I'm at. I, I apologize. So, or did I do all, I must have done all of those on Monday. Anywho, so the next ingredient is our out of print, our something that's rare and magical. So I worked on, because it just had to be 100 stitches. So I worked on my Alice in Wonderland. Got the flamingo finished and the arm finished. Love her. And then for the grass, I worked on the sheep pin cushion. Because there's a lot of grass on this guy. So I just did the outline of the grass, this part. And I also got my thousand stitches on that one on, oh no, I don't quite have my thousand stitches on that one. I had to order some more of the, um, of the silken colors. I didn't have quite enough, so. And then the next one I had to work on, worked on the planet freebie and this is from fuzzy fox designs and i'm just gonna it says you mean the world to me super cute and so i also had this fabric from let's see it goes that way from a stitchy box and I thought that worked really good. Lolly finished this and showed it on her recent floss tube. So super cute. Put those back in there. I'm a little disorganized. I'm really sorry guys. And then something with skin. So I pulled out my Lady of the Flag. And I'm also, after I did the hundred stitches on her, um, I also put a couple more stitches in because she is my piece that is howling for attention. And we have to do 500 stitches on that one. So let's see here. Okay. Like, where's the bottom? So right here is what I worked on. I worked on all of this. So part of this was the hundred and then I just kind of, I got another hundred and 198 so I got about 200 stitches 298 stitches done um, on that and so this is the end of her sleeve and this is going up toward toward her arm actually so her arm is gonna be up here so it'll be really cool to start on skin soon so this I need to fill in and that and she's gonna be coming out on President's Day because she's my piece that I'm working on for um, my patriotic holidays. So I'm gonna pull her out for President's Day and work on her since we don't have to go anywhere or do anything. We might have some, the girls or the kids might have some friends over, just depends. Um, and then my enabled pattern, which I could have done a lot of different things but there's one that I've been itching to start and I finally got everything I probably didn't print the cover page no I didn't so but I'm super excited to start this one and the colors are just amazing it's pretty little Hawaii by Setsuma Street 
And there's my start on it. This is my awesome needle minder that I got. It says Accio Needle. Got that when I did the Harry Potter class schedule stitch along by Armada Designs, which was lots and lots of fun. I loved it. Um, but this is a hundred, a little bit, was it over a hundred stitches? No, it was a hundred stitches right there. So it's really funny because a hundred stitches is not a lot if you think about it. And because I'm like, oh, a hundred stitches, ah, and then I'm like, oh, I can do a hundred stitches or I can do 500 stitches. So, and I think I said the other day that I had posted something. It was probably Monday that I had posted that I was where I had started. Oh, it was the sheep. I had started the sheep and said, okay, here's my hundred stitches for the grass. And it was probably an hour, maybe, because I had that and that was not just straight. It, you know, I posted it and then an hour later I had posted my finish of my hundred stitches. And so it was kind of like, huh. I, and I knew I had gotten up and down in that time period. So I guess, you know, I was like, I guess I'm a fast stitcher. I don't know. But so got the polyjuice potion taken care of. And then I did on, let's see here, on Stargate, I finished the extra credit for that on Wednesday. So I was really excited to finish that one. And then for the extra credits, I would, like I said, I was able to finish the moan and cry for the eagle, which was 500. And then something with words because of the diary and there's words here. And then once this gets filled in, there will be words, there'll be names here. And then also under each of the um, images here, there will be words. So this is the UN, this is the discovery of America, and this, this, some of them will actually go to the side. This is the Civil War, um, Model T Ford, first in flight. This is the, uh, not Kitty, this is, uh, the flight, the Wright Brothers B Flyer that they flew in Kitty Hawk and um, the native people and Boston Tea Party. So there's lots of words in this one. So I didn't have to stitch on the words. It just has to have words. And you're over there. I'm not going to put you away yet. So and also something sluggish um, because of Ron and barfing the slugs out, which is not my favorite part at all, but it's all good. Um, so that's something sluggish. So I got like a thousand done on that uh, piece, which is really awesome and I'm very grateful that I can sit in the car and stitch while I'm waiting for my kids. <laughs> um, and then I stitch at night when everything's done and we're relaxing. That's my, you know, we're watching TV. I have to have something that with, with me. Um, and then just trying to look and see what else I have. And then I started, so because I ran out of thread, of the floss on my sheep. I couldn't finish that one and I didn't want to start something new with animals. So, um, just because I can order it and it'll be done by, I can finish it by February. It's not a big deal. So I picked up my locks and keys because there are seven locks on Moody's trunk. And so I'm doing the locks and keys, antique locks and keys by Shakespeare's peddler. And when I started, I only had the, this key right here and this key right here. And so last night, actually, or no, starting on Saturday, from Saturday, working on Saturday, and then on Sunday, Sunday I actually finished, I worked on this keys part, this was really fun. Um, and then, or yesterday, Sunday, my goodness, my brain. And so, so you've got so a couple of locks were finished, and a couple more keys were finished. I love this one with the little heart, and I love this one with like the crown. So still trying to decide, I might finish this into like a key holder. Um, I just don't want to put it where my other, where the key holder is right now that we have in the house because it's right next to the stove and I don't want to get it wet with like, you know, cooking stuffs. So um, next, so we got our homework last night or we got our, our homework for this week um, is 
a couple of different things we have to, um, because poor Hermione, she had to be taken to the hospital wing because the hair she got was not a human hair. It was a cat hair and turned into a, partly into a cat. So, and Polyjuice Potion is not meant for human or for species, it has to be human to human, it can't be species to, you know, like an animal to human. It just doesn't work. So she had to go up and chill in the hospital wing with Madame Pomfrey and she grew a tail and everything. It was like, poor girl. So she had to be remodified. So we have to stitch on something that we've modified in some way. And we need to do 200 stitches each. So what I'm starting with what I've modified, where'd you go? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm going to bring out my Stargate again because originally the pattern, if you go to the pattern on Etsy, it's just black fabric with white writing. So, and the way I modified it is I put it on white fabric and put all the colors. So that's my modification of this one. So I'm going to start that one today. Well, probably while this is uploading and while my laundry's going and while I'm waiting for kids at school lots of fun stuff. Um, and then project with a cat because poor Hermione gets turned into a cat. I'm going to pull out, I don't have to stitch on the cat. It just has to be a project with the cat. So I'm pulling out my Alice Quaker again. Super excited. I'm picking out right there. And then I also need to stitch on a project with a ghost. And I was looking and I was going to see if my magical creatures calendar had a ghost. No, it doesn't have a ghost. It's like, if you don't have a ghost, how can you not have a ghost? So what I'm going to work on is the Armada Designs Tiny Halloween Cell. Because there is a cute little ghost right there. I don't have an actual paper of it, so. But I did get the kit from her. Love Christy. She's on a cruise right now, celebrating her honeymoon because her and her cute husband got married. But I got the Monster Mash Ada by Picture This Plus, and all the little stuffs to go with it. And she's so sweet. She like always sends the hoop. So it'll be a hoop finish. And then. So that's what I've got going on right now for plans, um, for homework. And then um, I'm going to be working on my, probably my Eagle. It just depends on what I feel like working on this week. Um, probably finish locks and keys because I want to say I only have like 200 more stitches. Yeah, I'm at 806 out of 1,000 on my locks and keys, which is really funny because if you look at it, you know, so a hundred, so a thousand is a hundred stitches. So if each of these keys or each of these items was a hundred stitches, I only have to do 10 of them. If you think about it. And so it's like, if you break it up into chunks, so that's how the, how, that's why I take that is that, you know, oh, don't be, you know, super intimidated by that thousand because look for projects that you can break it up into chunks of a hundred. And if you can do those chunks of a hundred, um, I think Jessie Marie said that you have, for the 22 things for the extra credit, I think she said that we have to do two a month for, to be able to get it and um, to, fi to finish all 22. I don't think I'm going to get all 22. There's a few that I'm really stuck on how I'm going to fix it in, but we'll see. You never know. Um, so let's see here. Let's do kind of did plans. Also, another plan that I have is on the 24th of February, excuse me, Multicrafty Hermit Bag, I'm going to be starting my Wicked Plant for my birthday with the, with the conversion that Heather Quaigirl07 on Instagram so graciously let me, you know, borrow for lack of a better term, but gave her, gave me her conversion. I love it. I'm so excited to get, get it started. So hi, Heather. Um, so get me organized over here. You can move right there. Um, kind of haul, kind of, oh, another plan I have. So tiny modernist, um, she uploaded 
how to do a Biscorno and I've been looking at the Biscornos and oh I've got a nice shadow on my eye here I'm sorry oh okay I just look like Too Faced this is cool um <laughs> heads or tails and so I got this in a stitchy box and it's four different Biscornos so I think I'm gonna do like I know I have a Fiesta uh, Weeks Dye Works and I might do that one or one of these in the Fiesta because this one's just kind of um, a couple of different colors and I don't know but I want to do a Biscorner now and I want to do one. I've got fabric in here that I've got from Stitchy Box so super excited to start that. Been enabled on that one so I guess I could have used that as my part that was enabled. Um, you can come over here and then I also my sweet husband um, we were at Walmart and that's funny this is upside down but um, so we had we were walking through Walmart and I saw this frame and it's plastic but it doesn't look like plastic which is really cool and then it's got a clip right here and so one of my one of the things I've asked for for my birthday or um, just is on my wish list is the year of celebrations by hands-on design and so isn't that like so super perfect I'm gonna I do something with it oh that's nice little sticky parts there but yeah I'm excited about that so something to to finish when Michelle does her international FFO weekend again so thank you for doing that that was super awesome she says she's gonna give us more warning next time because I have a few things I gotta finish and yeah like it's amazing like she's she, like she said it's amazing that McKenna can as she's you know McKenna when she stitching in sequence if you know once she finishes something she finishes or if once she finishes stitches, stitching a project she finishes it whether it's framing whether it's in a pillow whatever she does it boom and doesn't have it sitting around so props to McKenna and I just I so haul, oh actually, yeah, a little bit more haul. So I got a piece of Oyster 32 count linen in 20 by 27. This is for my mystery, my linens and threads uh, mystery cell, the Peacock Garden. I'm so excited. I have to, I'm still waiting for my, my silks for you to come in. Um, it's hanging out in San Francisco right now. So at least it's in the States. I'm excited for that. It got here. So I'm going to work on that. And then here's my crinkles and got my floss club from Julie for February. And y'all, if you are not in Julie's floss club, you need to get in because not only is Julie amazing, but she has got some amazing, amazing, um, colors and dyers like hello this is my first ship's manor hello look at that cinnamon roll it's gorgeous it's got like it's even got some purple in it love it and then my other ship's manor and i've never ever stitched with ship's manor before and it's super soft i'm loving it it's called Prim, Prim and Proper. Oh, somebody's out doing the sidewalks. <laughs> so, and I have a, an idea for that one. And then we've got some classic color works. Very springy, and I've got some ideas for these ones. So we've got Wavy Navy right here, Tufted Yellow, which I love, it's so buttery, Vintage Violets, which is my favorite. We should be getting my violets in blooming soon, and then Strawberry Parfait. Love that pink. And then got Stepping Stones for Weeks Dye Works, a nice pretty purpley gray. Really good for brick, really good for, you know, rock work. And oh my gosh, these ones, you guys, piece de resistance, color and cotton. I've never ever had color and cotton before. 
and they are amazing. This one, I mean, they're so just buttery too. So this is Colonial Silver. Love this one. This is called Dracula, and you can probably see why. It's nice and red. I wonder if you can see it on that. There, right there. Gorgeous with a little bit of dark purple or dark, dark, dark red. And then this one is Vineyard. So there's greens and browns. So, so pretty and so variegated, like gorgeous. Like you can really, that sun, sorry guys. Love it. So super pretty. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put, and now that I've shown it, I can put it in here. Um, I have my cute little snail, which is another thing I wasn't able to do, but I don't have all of the flosses and things. So, but I thought it would be cute to use this prim and proper for that snail right there. So in it goes, just so I know. <laughs> all right. So really quick. Oh, now I can put you away. There. Got to make it to the post office. I've got a couple of swaps I have to send out for my ATC cards. Um, this is sticking. So really quick, um, the giveaway that we're doing. It's on floss tube. So on floss tube 14, you need to go and leave a comment. And the comment is, what do you enjoy about stitching? Um, don't say giveaway. Don't say free. Don't say, you know, any of that. If you say giveaway or free, or I'll just delete your comment. I haven't had to do that and I've been really enjoying reading the comments and sorry if I'm a little bit slow getting back to you. Life is a little crazy. So, but Lolly talked about an amazing, the YouTube, YouTube app. Huh? Yeah. YouTube Creator Studio app. It's amazing. So we're giving this away. It's fully kitted. The linen's in there. Um, the flosses are in there. There's even the buttons and if there's not a needle, I will throw in a needle. So you can get started right away on it. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, what do you enjoy about stitching? This is going to go until the 24th and I'll do a draw on the 24th of, um, that. And, um, just really quick, I kind of want to, um, new floss tubers I've watched and, um, I don't know, I can't remember. I finally was able to watch them. They're both Utah floss tubers. They're down in, um, Lehigh area. So they got a lot of snow last week on Tuesday it, or on Wednesday. It was crazy. They got more snow than we did. They actually canceled schools <laughs> and they never do that over there. So, um, but Jenny from Cricklewood Crossing, she is an Australian, um, that they lived in Australia. They actually, she, they got married in the States, moved to Australia, had an organic farm. It was amazing. She had a quilt shop and then, um, they moved back to this recently moved back to the U S um, they're down in, 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 in Lehigh, like I said. Um, and she's got some amazing pieces. She's designing again. She has an Etsy shop. Um, go watch her channel. She just talked about that in her, in her last one. She's got some cute project bags that she's, she's made. Um, so I'm going to see if I can snag a couple of those. I shouldn't be because I just, yeah, I'm bad. I'm bad. The stitch from stash stuff. I can do floss just fine, but buying stuff. Oh, I'm bad. Um, and then highway stitcher Colette Kingsley. She's amazing. Um, she's got a lot of stitch alongs. She's got a lot of big projects that she's working on. It's really fun to watch her. She also does bobbin lace. And so she's, um, behind her in her videos, she's got a board that has some of her lacing. And then she actually showed in her last floss tube, um, some bobbin lace that she did. And it was gorgeous. It was this cool fruit basket thing. Um, very intricate, very, very neat to do, to see. Um, let's see here. Um, kind of want to highlight some really awesome projects that I've seen, um, that people have been doing. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this all the time, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, her Contessa and Squid, or as she calls it, calls it Josephine and Humphrey is amazing. So if you haven't seen pictures of that, go check her out. It's really cool. Um, EJ's mother moon is coming along swimmingly. Like it's gorgeous. It's mostly, it's like a blue, um, fabric, a light 
lightish blue fabric and then I want to say it's just white. It's a very pale color that she's being stitched in and it's gorgeous. So EJ, you're doing good on that. Keep it, keep it coming. Um, she's my fellow Ravenclaw in um, Magical Stitches, so gotta, gotta keep each other motivated. And then I love, love Jessie Marie's conversion, her Stargazer conversion for um, her Remembrance piece for Virginia Tech is beautiful and she's gone so far as down to the skirt and you can see the swirls where the beads are going, but it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Um, and then Jan Hicks from Jan Hicks Creates, who is in sunny Hawaii, I'm really jealous of her, um, loving watching her videos and her Sunsets and Sagria videos as well with her husband that they're showing the different um, things that they're doing there, the hikes and just the scenery in general, it's gorgeous. Um, but her Luz Gonzalez was amazing and she just finished like the satin stitching and it almost looks like um, Native American beadwork. It is gorgeous, loving it. So, um, so that's kind of my my project shout outs that I want to do that are really neat. Excuse me. Um, just quick life update. Um, Alice and Ross went to a daddy daughter dance on Friday at the, her school. It was really cute. Um, they had fun. They went out to dinner to McDonald's and she played in the play place. She's easy to please. Um, and then looks like Nathan is not going to nationals for Cyber Patriot, but they did amazing. They still took first in their state qualifier, which let them go to the semifinals. So they're, they're first in state. And we told them, it's like, you know what? You did great for, especially he, it's his first year on the team. And um, they just got beat up by a couple of schools a couple weeks ago. And they kind of, one of their... They basically bricked one of the images that they were working on. So if you don't know what that term means, it just, it's as useless as a brick. They, it broke the image. So they had to reload it and they had to restart it. And so they lost like a third of their points because they did that. So, cause you don't want to do that. You don't want to break the computer. <laughs> um, and this weekend, hopefully if the weather is nice, we, um, my mom, who's stuck, who should be coming back from, from Dallas. She was in Indianapolis over the weekend and had to overnight in Dallas last night because, um, of weather and it was just, it was fun. Um, she, and my dad wasn't even with her. And usually when my dad flies with, with us, there's, there's crazy things that happen. We were in Denver way too long one trip. We were going to Texas and had to turn around. We were in the plane, had to turn around like Twice, so we took off from the Denver International Airport three times. And if anybody's taken out of, out taken off out of Denver, you know that it's pretty bumpy. And the second time we landed, we landed heavy because we were there were some storms we were needing to go around, and they're like asking for volunteers, and it was crazy. And we we're just like, no, we're just going for the weekend. We gotta get there. And they had Austin Airport, teeny tiny Austin open until like 1 a.m. and they had to have all the gar all the luggage people there, all the, you know, everybody. And they usually close pretty early because they're just a small airport. But anywho, so she was in Dallas overnight and she's like, hey, you know what? I have my bag. I have everything. I got my stitching. We're good. <laughs> and I don't have to pay for the hotel room or my flight. So we're good. Um, so we're, and then, so me, my mom, and Izzy are going to try to go to the stitch -in that's down in Provo on Saturday. So if you're going to be there, hi, hopefully we'll be there too if the weather's good. Because um, I know we've got some storms coming through and we just don't want to drive through Salt Lake and all that jazz and the weather. It's not very fun. So um, anyway, like I said, go to Floss214, comment if you want to win. The Pretty Flowers by Lizzie Kate. It's a limited edition. Um, super excited to have you guys and to be able to talk with you guys and just thank you for letting me be a part of your life for a few minutes a day, um, for letting me into your home. Um, I love it. I, I love this community. It's an amazing community. We are able to help each other and just remember to lift each other up. Um, I hope you guys have a great week and happy Valentine's Day to those that celebrate or happy, you know, just 
just know you're loved. Even if you're by yourself or as we used to call it when I was, as I, my friends and I would call it when we were single, we always called it Singles Awareness Day or Galen. You can also do your Galentine's Day, which is super fun. So treat yourself. If you're feeling sad, go and treat yourself. I hope you have a great week. Love you guys. Thanks again. Bye.